morning all and welcome to uh, Broadstairs it's a beautiful Sunday morning and today I'm doing a harbour wallbanger race So a lovely small seaside town, ball stairs on the Kent coast. I'm on my way down to the uh, race headquarters to collect my running number and then I'll sure go back to my car to uh, get myself prepped. I'm a good hour early. So as you can see they're getting themselves ready for the race a little bit later so in the meantime I'm going to collect my running number and then I uh, shall show you a little bit of broad stairs before I get myself ready for the race So that was a pretty simple process there. My number is 177. So race number collected, so I'm just gonna head back to the car now. Now there is lots of um, public car parking spaces in Broadstairs uh, you have to use an app I think there are machines there to pay as well but obviously I've found some free parking which is just a short little uh, short little jog from the uh, from the beach so if you're here in good time you can save yourself a fortune on parking which is not cheap down at the seaside resorts can be very expensive so that's my number one tip get here early and get yourself a free parking space So there's Dickens house here, which celebrates the um, life of Charles Dickens with his connections to Baldstairs. Uh, we're going back to like the 1830s something to mid 1850s I would imagine. This is his house where he um, got the inspiration for the David Copperfield um, books. So it's worth a visit if you've got the time. I think it's only about £4 to visit and there, there are actually items in the house that belong to Charles Dickens, including letters written. This is the uh, Ballstairs Bay, so in roughly an hour's time, because it's nine o'clock now and the race starts at 10, we should be starting down there and coming all the way along here heading along the beach towards Ramsgate where you hit the harbour wall turn around and come back and finish where you started hence why it's called the harbour wall banger we've got 30 minutes so I just got my shoes prepped timing chip it's a shame it's not in the number I don't like these chips because uh, I've lost some before on races and not had a time recorded but they did supply um, a plastic cable tie so it makes it a bit more secure not that I made a particularly good job of uh, pulling it on uh, hence I haven't got me reading glasses on so yeah number 177 so I've got exactly 29 minutes to start the race so I'm gonna get my shoes on and make my way down to the start so here we are on the beach my feet are full of sand already <laughs> this is gonna be fun So, uh, yeah, we're keeping an eye on the queue for registration, so don't worry about that. But I want to welcome clubs, um, I've just had a little... Chicken Nellis! No, I think they won it last year. This is only the warm-up. What did David Carr, the photographer? Are you off, David? Fortunately, I think the tide's just Carr. gone out, so the sand's going to be a lot wetter. So, and, and it looks like they run down onto the wet part of the sand, so it should be pretty good, hopefully. A little bit of a warm up on the uh, sand. So this sand's pretty firm actually. That's not too bad. I think I might have made the right choice over wearing trousers because it's just going to give me that extra little bit of grip, especially on the uh, running across the seaweed and possibly any hidden rocks or whatever. 
So I won't be uh, going through full pelt this morning. I'm just gonna enjoy this. And it's uh, obviously quite tough running on the sand as well. So I don't wanna risk uh, getting any injuries or anything. So I'm just gonna pace myself nicely. Take it nice and uh, nice and easy. Try not to go into the red too much if I can help it. Unless I get sort of drawn into some sort of uh, some race with someone, but I very much doubt it. I'm not not really overly that bothered this morning. How do you possibly put a time on this sort of race? Because conditions just change all the time. A bit like cross countries, really. The sand can be firm, it can be soft. There's all sorts of factors, wind, etc. So there's no point comparing it to the, the time before last, whenever it was I'd done it. Might have even been before COVID the last time I'd done this race. So uh, here we go. 10 minutes before the start. Start getting myself in my uh, start position. I don't want to be too too crowded at the back, so I get myself near the front to so let people go past me. Barry don't like getting wet, so he's come back in. <laughs> Thank you all for coming uh, down here today. We've got two runners from the far afield as Norway. If you're from Norway, stick your hand up. You are ever so welcome. This will be available on Sporting Events UK. The uh, link is on Facebook uh, on our page. So I'm just going to step back and say thank you for raising all this money for Kent, Surrey and Sussex Air Ambulance. Three, two, one, go! Here we go, half a wall bang of ice. everyone sort of uh, taking their own little path trying to work out the best sand to run on but sometimes you get there and it's too late dumped on gap I think it is so almost halfway to Ramsgate, to the Harbour Wall. So just taking me time. Which way? Left or right? Can I go left? Ramsgate Beach now. Sounds pretty soft. It's almost halfway. Oh, this is rough. Oh. Right, so almost at the harbour. Oh, there's a leader. Coming through now. So he's coasting along nicely. Reason apart for him. Right, here we are. So, why is everyone turning the wrong way? I do not know. Drink station if you need it. Bang the wall. Bang, bang. Should be that way. <laughs> So there we go, back to start, back to ball stairs now. So we're back at dump 
some gap now. One K apparently, just been told. Stop the watch. That was tough. Pour me rain. The British summer. You just can't beat it. So I was pleased about that because I felt really strong in the last on the return home, return back to the finish. I felt really strong. I think I only got a couple of people that overtook me right at the end. But I sort of told myself I wasn't gonna to go too much into the red. So, oh, glasses are steaming up. Oh, there you are. Yeah, well, it's black as anything now. So, looks like we're in for a bit of rain now. So I think I'll make my way back to the car, get myself dry. Well, they're going to do well today. Looks like the rain's in for the day. So my idea of uh, having a nice coastal walk after this race and having a spot of light lunch, looks like it's in ruins. Uh, I could be in the car on the way home pretty soon. 